Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Give the Grey here, and I'm welcoming you back to episode number three of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire playthrough. In the last episode, you guys, we went through Oldale Town, and we actually battled our rival Brendan, and then we came through. We destroyed him with his um, Trico, with our Mudkip, of course. And then we came through um, Route 102, defeated some trainers, and then got to Petalburg City, where we helped Wally catch a Pokemon courtesy of Dad. Because he helped Wally, because he gave him his Pokemon. He wouldn't give us his Pokemon, but he gave Wally, com Wally, a complete stranger, our Pokemon. So, in today's episode, you guys, we're going to go ahead and go through Petalburg Woods. If you are hyped and you are ready to start this episode off, make sure you smash the hell out of that like button. And, of course, subscribe to Ultratech if you are not part of the Ultratech community. For all of the latest Ultratech content. And trust me, you guys are going to want to stay subscribed to us. Because we have a lot more episodes of Alpha Sapphire coming up for you guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and get a quick team party update. Now, like I said like I said in the last episode, I did end off last episode trying to find a, um, a tailor. Because that was, of course, my next team member. But then, of course, I thought, hmm, I wonder if the shiny Beldum event is still up for grabs. It is. So now we have a level 5 Brave Beldum, which is honestly amazing because it raises attack and lowers speed. I mean, Beldum speed isn't that amazing anyway. Look at it, it's its lowest stat. But it does have a attack helping nature. Helping? Is that a word? I don't know. Helping nature and a speed hindering nature, which is honestly fine by me. But it's got Hold Back, Iron Head, Zen Head, and Iron Defense. These are, these are, of course, egg moves. And yeah. So, it's not going to be joining the party anytime soon. I mean, it'd be nice to have a Mega Metagross on the team, but we're not going to do that just because normally, of all the playthroughs I've watched, most people have done that. So, we're not going to do that. Instead, though, we're going to add our next member to our party, being President the Taylo, because I did actually catch one off screen, you guys. This one is a naughty nature which ups attack and lowers special defense. I mean, look at that, special defense is awful, right? But its attack is. Pretty good. It's his second highest stat. It's got Peck, Growl, and Focus Energy with Guts. So if it does get poisoned, paralyzed, or burnt, it will be really helpful. And then it will attack will practically double. And then of course we do have our starter Niagara, our Mudkip at level 10, with Tackle, Growl, Wards Gun, and Mud Slap. So that's the team, you guys. Um we won't be getting another party member until I think after the third badge. Is it the third badge or the second badge? It may be the second badge, I don't know. So Enjoy the, enjoy the company that we have in the party for now while you can. But I did do some grinding off screen like I did say. I did some battle I did battle some trainers that were kind of out the way on this route. You know, I didn't battle the rich boy um, towards the entrance of the Petalburg was just because I wanted to make this kind of episode, kind of a battle episode. You know, one where we do go through some battles and what we'll have you trying to get through some, um, some levels up for our Pokemon. And I do know as a fact that once we help the um, scientist out with a certain cooperation, um, we do get an item that is really, really helpful to us. Whether or not we use that item a lot in this Let's Play, I don't know. I mean, it depends on what the levels of our Pokemon are. I mean, most of you guys will probably know what I'm talking about, but for those of you who don't, you'll find out sooner or later. Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Oh, okay, so you think the money solves everything? I mean... I know for a fact you have a full restore, Winston, so... I mean, how in the hell can you have a full restore early on in this game? And I know for a fact my camera is zoomed in and not... Um, well, yeah, it's a bit close to the water, actually, because the trainer only has... It says he can only have five Pokeballs, and we know for a fact he can have six, so camera needs moving, so give me a second. Okay guys, we have moved the camera, hopefully that's a bit better. I don't know why I zoomed it in so much because, um, you know, I had to move the camera ever since we last recorded because I was accessing my phone and what have you. And this is the, this is the problem with being an amateur recorder like me, it's just that the fact that, um, you know, we can't do everything properly, we don't have a little, like, border like all the professional YouTubers do. That was a critical hit, it's a good thing we used our 
focused energy while we did. But yeah, I don't have like some professional editing software like Sony Vegas or anything like that. I have Movie Maker. That's all I need. Just Movie Maker. I'm absolutely fine with that. And we just body that zigzagoon with a couple of critical hits, which is honestly just fine by me. And we're going to use President for a while because um, the first gym is Rock Type. Hence why the gym leader is Roxanne, because it's Rock Type. And we're going to use President for a while because President is weak to rocks and pretty much all the gym is is Geodudes and no pa and Nels Pass, which of course Roxanne has. So we are going to use um, Niagara in that gym, which means that, you know, we may as well just show off our newly acquired Pokemon. Oh, we have Guts Boosts. You aren't going to, you are not going to, anyone is not going to wish that that's true, Mish had poisoned me. I mean, I'm really happy because they did get rid of the um, effects that they had in, like, third generation, second generation, first generation, and what have you. Where, pretty much, it's when you walk, you take damage from poison, and that's no longer in the game. I mean, you still keep the poisoning after battle, but, you know, you know it's there because you take damage every so often, and what have you. But, honestly, I'm fine with it. I mean, this isn't a Nuzlocke, otherwise I would have to heal my Pokemon as soon as I can. But I believe there's something over here, like down here. I think it's a Pokeball, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, she's telling us that we can't throw Pokeballs that um, train this Pokemon. We're not trying to be a FIFA, guys. Come on, we're not trying to be Team Rocket. We don't want to be Team Rocket now, do we? But no. Um, yeah, so we need to go through Petalburg Woods because, like we say, this is the next place where we have to go. You know, it's the next place in our journey. I, I wanted to battle that guy. Why did he have to turn around and then look back as soon as I walked past him? He was just like, oh, so, someone's there. Who is it? Oh, never mind. They're gone. But, I mean, experience is experience. So, I'm not afraid to kill this level 6 Wormpole. I mean, honestly, with Guts, we can one-shot it. So, we're not even going to take any poison damage. Which is absolutely fan doobly to fan by me, if you ask me. But, okay, so, do you want to battle now? I got a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, 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 my best Pokemon team. I mean, okay. I guess you. I guess you want to. I guess you want to win really badly. Lyle. Lyle has a wormhole. Isn't that nice? Okay, President. Show them what the power of a tailor with guts can do. I mean, we don't even need to focus energy. We can pretty much just one shot all the wormholes. Taylor is such an awesome Pokemon. Swellow is such an awesome Pokemon. See how much uh, we did take three. That's, n that's not bad. It could be a hell of a lot worse. We could take four. I mean, Guts is an overpowered ability. With um, um, a Harry Yama or a Conkelda or something. I mean, I didn't even know Swellow could get Guts until, obviously, I saw how useful abilities could be in Generation 3. And I was like, oh my god, that's powerful. Okay. So, pretty much Guts just wipes out anything but we are wrecking this bug type trainer with president here and i love president so much if you don't get why it's called president i mean just look at halo it's got a blue bag with a red body and then a like, kind of like red and white body so flat red red white and blue flags of the america america has a president and i've just shunted the camera very slightly i do apologize about that guys Okay. Oh, I, whatever that sneak encounter was, I just kind of scared it off. Hello, Mr. Scientist. What are you doing in here? Hmm, not a one to be f Hmm, not a one to be found. I was going to say, I was changing his voice there. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Swoomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. And here it is, guys. Our first encounter with Team Aqua. My favourite team organisation. Although the guy in this, although the guy in this kind of looks a bit derpy, but, you know, it's whatever. I was going to ambush you him. No. We need a deep voice for this. <clears throat> I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle in Petworg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Devon, Devon, I'm going to call it Devon. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. Huh? What do you think you're doing? What, you're gonna protect him? No one crosses no one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. 
and he just clenches his fists. But honestly, this bit is the best. Dun, dun, dun. Just listen to that music. Look at the battle background when the when the um, drums come up. The Aqua logo just drops and it's amazing. I love Team Aqua so much. I mean, Team Magmas is obviously lava, so it goes, so it's kind of like a volcano erupting, you know, the lava goes up. And we just one shotted a level 9 Pucciana. That is amazing. Taylor with Guts is overpowered, I'm telling you. Ah, you got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we are Team Aqua also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go for today. Why would you tell me this? You're begging me to come after you. Phew, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, we didn't rob me of those important papers. I know, I'll give you this as my thanks. The experience share. That's the item what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about earlier, you guys. The experience share is a super high tech device, and super overpowered device as well. I just strain every fiber of my brain and body to develop this device. So turn the switch on and battle experience will be shared by all party Pokemon. Please give it a try, and with this I'll restore your Pokemon's health. No! He's getting rid of my guts, isn't he? It's another technical event that I'm proud of. <sighs> I liked my guts, thank you very much. Eh, didn't that Team Aqua Fug they were say, say they were after something in Rust World too? Ow, it's a crisis, I can't be wasting time. His voice just kind of went a little bit off then, I don't know really what that was about, but either way something happened and we'll have it. Oh, can we not find any wild Pokemon here? Thank you. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you get to be instantly popular. Really? Well, I wish Pokemon were a thing, because if I just walked around with Typhlosion and told it I all day, I think I'd be pretty happy. James? Hey, it's James! James, you're in the game! And you have an Encader. You, 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 sir. Yep, my Gus is gone because the Pokeball isn't yellow anymore, and I'm no longer poisoned. So, I doubt this peck is actually going to one-shot now. Look at that! I think I preferred myself when I had when I was poisoned. Then kinda do you know poison powder? Please? Please tell me you know poison powder. But okay, so we are leveling up good and I actually think the experience yet is turned on, so Niagara should get a couple of levels well, at least egg level up from that as well. Indeed he does. Okay, so the pot the experience share isn't gonna stay on all the time during the light play, otherwise I'd be overpowered as hell. And I'm gonna turn it off like Whenever um, like I'm off screen or something, whenever I'm doing some off screen grinding, or like if we're low, just below over leveled for a gym challenge or something, I don't know. But either way, it's going to be off and on throughout the let's play. Hello? Who's this? This wasn't in the original games. This is the Petterberg Recon team checking in. I'm afraid I have to begin with an apology, Mr. Matt. It's not good news. The mission is a no go. Unless was something cropped up and got in the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. I'll continue investigating that energy we detected. Phew. That kid sure has some promise as a trainer, I'd say. Ooh, I wonder who she could be. I wonder who she could be. But okay, guys, so we do have some mystery items up in here. Do you know what? I'm going to go and get those in the um, off-screen or something. And I think we do get... Yeah, we do. We get we get echoed voice over here. I mean, um, Wisma does... In Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Wisma's... Normally, Wisma has uproar, but it gets replaced with echoed voice in Auras. So, when I was Wonder Trading on X and Y, I would get a Wisma with a um, pound echoed voice in Astonish. That's how I know it came from Hoenn. And also it says, because when it, you trade it and then you look at the summary of the Pokemon, it says, Where? A far away place. Not Hoenn. Oh, if only that was a thing. But okay, so we are just going to peck this Zigzagoon. I don't know what does more, peck or quick attack? I think quick attack does more. Let's, let's have a look. Yeah, quick attack does more. Although I, I think it's just by like a five power or something. I don't know. And like I was mentioned before, the ladies slash rich boys 
have full restores, which is honestly really annoying, if you ask me. I mean, I'm recording this after, oh my god, was that, that wasn't even a crit, oh, oh yeah, he did use a tail whip on me, I do suppose, but that wasn't even a crit, and he took like 10 hit points away from me. But I am recording this after episode 2 went up, you guys. I mean, I haven't looked at anything, and right now, episode 2 has got no views. <laughs> I'm unpopular. But episode 2 has got no views, meaning that... Oh my god, we have 11 potions? I didn't even buy anything. We must have got 10 potions to start off with. Jesus Christ, I'm prepared as a trainer. But yeah, um, this is after episode 2 went up. It's just literally, I'm recording this after episode 2 went up. And I think I was actually going to record it while it was uploading, but then when I went to check my computer, it already uploaded. Which is kind of convenient, because then you won't hear, like, the noises my laptop make. It, you won't hear, like, the wiring of the, um, the actual disc itself. But, either way, we're all good. So at least, like, there will be minimum background noise possible for you guys. I mean, hopefully you can't hear anything, or you didn't hear anything in the last episode anyway. But... You know, it's all going good. It's all going good, anyway. Shroomish. Does a shroomish carry a leech seed? Either, I don't know, either way, because it's dead. It's going to die from this peck. I do know that for a fact. And down you go. We have a critical hit as well. Oh my god, President is too powerful. I mean, all Presidents are powerful, of course, because... Presidents are seen as the most powerful person in the world, of course. Wing attack. That's pretty much a more powerful version of Peck. You know what? I might, I'm might. i going to get rid of Growl just because PP is a thing and we have, we pretty much, we have some stab moves now and we have focus energy and what have you. So, I'm really happy with that. I mean... Obviously, we don't get to see much of Ni we haven't seen much of Niagara so far in this episode because obviously, Brock type gym's coming up in a minute. Well, very shortly anyway. Gina and Mia have a Lotad and a Sea Dart. Oh, a double battle! I guess we'll be able to see them see Niagara both in action right now. I I guess. Look at this! Look at this power that you see on your screen right now, guys. President and Niagara. Okay, now I know Sea Dart for a fact is bulky, so I'm gonna go for Wing Attack on the Sea Dart while Niagara goes for the um, Tackle on the Low Tad. And I don't like the fact that that Sea Dart's Biden. Well, it doesn't matter anyway because it's dead. Oh my lord, that was hilarious. These Pokemon are too powerful. I'm actually thinking, guys. I don't know, like, <sighs> on my previous channel, you see, before I started up this one, it was called, um, it was just pretty much like an in real life channel, and pretty much I just get up to, like, some silly videos and what have you, foresight, why would you want to learn foresight? Pretty much I just do a load of joshing around videos and like pretending pretending people knew how to play football and what have you and pretty much it was just joshing around with my friends and what have you and on that channel I would do a series called Q&A Fridays but I don't know if I should launch that up again on this channel at least not like every once in a while but you know every I'm gonna go right I'm gonna do this every week on every two weeks on a Friday, I'm gonna make it so I talk about like topics, and those topics, guys, are gonna be your questions that you submit in the comment section down below. So say, say we're gonna do it next week because I think obviously these videos go up on tomorrow, which is gonna be Friday, and then because today is Christmas Day, which means tomorrow's gonna be Boxing Day. So yeah, they're going to go up on Friday, um, so pretty much, if you guys have any questions you would like to know about me, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a completely new person to you if you haven't watched me before, so leave some questions down below in the comment section if you want to, um, 
get more get to know more about me how I first got into Pokemon why did I get into Pokemon why did I start YouTube what am I doing at college all these sorts of things you guys I mean you know it is nice to talk back to the community and what have you and just you know just get to know you guys as well because you want to find some common ground with me and you know what I understand that also share this with some make sure like your question has some sort of meaning to it don't say um, I don't want to plant a berry, what the hell? What the hell? Like, don't say, oh, what's your favourite TV show? Say, like, my favourite TV show is... Um, Top Gear or something, watch yours. Because then that, then that means, like, oh, I like Top Gear as well, because of all the... Because of all the, um, like, mechanics of cars, like the engine and stuff and what have you. Give yourself, like... A quest. Write yourself. Write your question in a format that I can talk about, like your common interest as well. Don't just say, "Oh, what's your favorite TV show or something." Just, just go with the flow, you guys. Go with the flow. But of course, I'm not telling you guys what to write. Just, however, write what you're writing, and we'll go ahead and do whatever. But yeah, that's gonna start again. That's gonna start um, the Friday of the New Year. Wait, so. It's going to start, I think, on the 2nd of January. I'm pretty sure that's the day for it. I don't know. But if it's not, then it'll be the Friday of the new year anyway. Anyway, Brendan. So you made it to Ross Roll 2, Gibbs. I know Brendan's like 10 or something, so he's not going to have that deep a voice. But oh well, I couldn't think of any other voice for him. It's a real city, huh? Nothing like Little Roots. Oh, did you know? There's a Pokemon gym here too. Really? I mean, I knew I gathered there was one in the original, so why did I not think there'll be one in the remix? Ha! <laughs> as soon as I gather a few more Pokemon, I'll be trying my team against it. See ya. I mean, bye, Brendan. Okay, you guys, so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna. Oh, hello. Excuse me, train over here there. Do you have a minute? You know, sometimes moves are too strong to catch a Pokemon. You end up making a Pokemon fate even when you don't want to. For such a common problem, Use this. A cup no. Oof, TM54 false swipe. You know, we may actually give that to Swallow. Because it's a stab move. I don't know. Do I want can even can Swallow even learn it? I don't know. Let's look at my TM. No, nope, you can't even learn it. But you both can learn it learn like echoed voice. That's handy to know. Okay, so we're gonna buy some potions and what have you. We have ten in the bag, so let's buy it's by 15, 15, 5, in the bag we're going to have 15, and then let's buy 8 Pokeballs, and let's also buy, let's buy 5 Antidotes, oh no, let's buy 3 actually, and I think we should be good to go for that, I don't know why I talked to this guy in particular, just because he stood out like a sore thumb, I mean, who stands near the edge of the um, counter in a Pokemon, just looking towards the door, waving glasses in my suit and tie. Look, there he is again! What's he doing at the Pokemon Center? He literally stands out like a sore thumb. If he holding if he was holding a briefcase, he would even more. Hmm, has anyone told you how he looks of an ace trainer? Yes. Because I mean I am an ace trainer after all. I'm a Pokemon master. But okay. So let's find out and see what the hell's going on over here. I mean I don't think we're actually gonna go and challenge the gym yet. I may do the event where we have to go and rescue um, Mr. Briny's Pico. Hello, Skitty. How are you? I know that was Skitty's cry for a fact. But okay, so I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a bit of Niagara a bit of screen time here, just for these next upcoming battles. Just because you know we haven't seen Niagara in this episode apart from that double battle, and Niagara is only level twelve. And I think Roxanne's ace is level 14. So we'll get Niagara up to level 14 as well. And then we'll hand the reins back over to President. Because, let's face it, we're not going to eat Youngster Joey! Guys, it's Youngster Joey. Don't get it too embarrassed, but Youngster Joey is amazing right now. Yeah, so we're going to hand the reins back over to President when we actually beat the gym. Because... 
after rock type, then we have uh, Roxanne the rock type gym, then we have Brawly the fighting type gym over in Duford. And of course, we do have a flying type Pokemon on our team. I mean, I, I, the whole point of this let's play is to use Pokemon I don't normally use in a let's play, and I don't normally use Swellow. This is the first time I've actually used Swellow as well, and I don't know why I just didn't swap out. But okay, well, let's see if Niagara can take a Machop down with a Water Gun. Uh, I didn't think it'd be a two-hit KO. Focus Energy. Ooh, that's actually kind of scary. If you have Karate Chop as well, that can actually be really scary. There's Karate Chop, this is a definite crit. Yep. There's a crit. Although that did, that did, I thought that did more. I thought that was like a normal hit, because that Machop is actually quite a powerful Pokemon. And Niagara grows up to level 13. So yeah, when Niagara reaches level 14, that's when we'll stop for a while before we actually go into the Pokemon Gym. If we do actually go into the Pokemon Gym by then. And then that's when we'll go and swap these two around. And then Niagara will go into the lead once we enter the gym. Hopefully that all makes sense. Okay, so I don't actually want to buy, buy, fight wild Pokemon. I want to actually see if we can get some repels later on. Just oh, no, I wanted to swap. The, I saw the bug Pokemon trainer, and I wanted to put President in the front just because it'd make this a hell of a lot easier. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll knock out um, Wormpole with this water gun real quick, and then we'll put President in the front for a bit just so he can do with all these bug type Pokemon and what have you really easily. Ah, oh, you son of a... You poisoned me. Son of a gun. Look how slowly Mudkip's head bobs now that he's poisoned. It's just like... It moves so slowly now. Okay, so we're going to need to heal you up in a minute. Ninkada, you can't really do anything to me, so let's go out into President. I mean, I know I'm overpowered for where we are at the minute, but, you know, we will turn the experience share off after, like, the episode is split into half, so, pretty much what I'm doing recently, you guys, is, you, show, you saw it in the episode 1 and episode 2, I kind of split the episode into half and, you know, uploaded them each separately, because, I mean, what it, when I will split it in half, it's not like I'm going to just make it into a half ass episode whenever we go onto a new, whenever we're in the middle of a new route, no. We're gonna do it so it's like whenever we leave a new place, whenever we enter a new place, you know, what have you. Okay. I mean, honestly, I think that transitions is a good idea because it gives me a chance to have a bit like a recording stream or something. Repel. Hmm. Yeah, so I do need some super repels actually. Yeah, so I wanna um I wanna do this like recording style like a new a new thing where I just have a recording stream where I can just play the game sit down and play the game for a while and then not have to worry about starting up a new episode, I can just easily split the episode into two. Okay, so we can't really do anything to this Mario, so we're gonna have to go out into president. Mario is actually quite a scary Pokemon. I mean an adamant Mario with huge power. It can do. Oh my God! You predicted the switch. That is going to do a hell of a, a lot of damage whenever it gets a chance. So, President, I need you to be powerful. Okay, that's a two-hit KO. Okay, that's good. That's what we wanted because if this doesn't kill, I'm pretty sure the turn after next, President will be dead. But it doesn't matter because the Muriel's dead. Muriel, Muriel, Muriel. That's how you pronounce it. Niagara is now level 14, which means that Niagara is going to take a back, a back seat for now. And we're also going to turn the experience share off. Because, like I say, the ace of um, Roxanne, I think, is level 14. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, please. You guys, you guys have helped me a lot. And you guys are just amazing. <laughs> I don't know where the hell I was going with that. Oh, I forgot to swap Niagara out. And I've also forgot to heal up Niagara. <sighs> okay. 
So let's swap Niagara out and let's heal up Niagara as well. Let's see, we have a potion. And we also have some antidotes. Good thing we bought them antidotes. We'll also heal up President because President is not looking at the two best healthy right now. So we may as well just carry on as we are. Okay. As soon as I swap the Pokemon out, the Pokemon trainer next up has to counter my lead. So I've just swapped the two back. So now Niagara is leading. That's a bit of an inconvenience. I mean, I'm not going to send out a Taylor against a Geodude. Especially when it can Rock Blast me or something. But okay, so this will tell us like how much damage Water Gun will do to a Geodude. I mean, it's level 8, so, and it's quite effective, and it's Stab. It's gonna do a lot of damage. It's gonna do like I don't know. I don't know like what takes place first. Does a stab and then the super effective hit, or then the super effective hit and then the stab? Because it can be either a case of oh this one is sturdy. It can either be a case of let's see, two hundred and forty from the water gun. I mean that's just how much damage it does with stab and um quite effective hit, or it can do. 180 it makes sense if it was stab and then the quad effective hit because obviously um, the quad effective with the oh wait no is it not huh so just come all this way for well I haven't come all this way for nothing hmm. alrighty then let's head back let's actually spray the repel we've got right now and let's head back so Wait. Huh. So I'm guessing... Oh, was that in the original games? I'm pretty sure Mr. Briny was here in the original games, no matter what you did first. Because... I don't know. Oh, wait, no, because... Because after you beat the gym, the Magma Grunt... The, or the Magma and Aqua, Aqua Grunt comes out, and then... And then they're there in the cave with Pika. Okay. Well, either way, we took the trainers out on this roof, so... Yes, the repels effect wall off, whatever. So, open the Pokemon Center. Heal up our Pokemon. Good evening. I'm actually recording this a day before you guys, as you can probably tell. This will be uploaded tomorrow, along with the other episode and what have you.